Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I mentioned in a previous vid uh, video with respect to uh, the building of the tabernacle, the Mishkan, and uh, people giving offerings and uh, uh, contributions, portions toward the building of the tabernacle, and it was the great medieval commentator uh, Sforno in, in Italy, who um, who observed that and commented that it was the sin of the golden calf, the Heta Egel Hazahav, the sin of the golden calf. That's what sparked God's decision to require the Jewish people to build a sanctuary, to build uh, a tabernacle, the spiritual. Uh, failings, the spiritual disease that had infected um, the Jewish people at that time caused him uh, caused this request, this, uh, this requirement. Uh, it, the sin of the golden calf showed a spiritual and moral decline, a depravity, if you will. And um, the Mishkan is the remedy. And before this point, before the sin of the golden calf, the Jewish people could access God anywhere they want. The presence of God was uh, wherever they went. Um, the Creator dwelt in our midst um, despite any, despite a lack of any fixed place of worship. Um, the Shekinah, the Divine Presence, was all over the place. It says in, uh, in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 21, In every place where my name is mentioned, I shall come to you and bless you. The altar in those days consi consisted basically of, of earth. It didn't have any gold and silver and jewels, you know, the things that people uh, prize and value so much. Um, of his own accord, of his own will, God uh, moved among the Jewish people and uh, sought to be with them wherever they went. A simple altar of earth is all that was required. After the sin of the golden calf, those days are gone. Um, God required the Jews to have a fixed place of worship. They had rejected the freedom to be with God whenever they wanted, wherever they wanted. They rejected that. So now, as often as it often happens, sometimes when you, you reject something that's free, later on you really have to work for that same thing. Um, the Jewish people were to build um, a physical ta tabernacle. Everything became formalized. When you did it, how you did it. The time, the place, the manner, the, uh, the the clothing for the for the priests, the utensils in the in the altar, what the walls were made of, everything was formalized. All the things that people treasure, gold, silver, jewels, those had to be given up in order to um, be part of uh, the tabernacle, be part of the Mishkan. Um, they're required for the building of God's sanctuary and the utopian state of God being everywhere. Um, that had been rejected. And so um, he required formality and a focusing of the people's attention. Later on, the temples, the first and second was Migdash, those were specific places from which God's presence radiated throughout the world. Now that uh, we don't have a Mishkan, we don't have a tabernacle, we don't have a temple, uh, our, our scripture, our prophets, God promises that it will come again. But now any Makam Torah, any place where Torah dominates, where Torah reigns, a synagogue, um, a study hall, a yeshiva, 
um, any place where Jews gather to worship God and study the Torah, that becomes like a mini Mishkan. And the Spirit of God radiates from that place. Um, it shines forth. It inspires the world. Um, we are to be a light unto the nations. And um, until the uh, until the temple returns uh, in the future with the coming of uh, Moshiach, let us make our own Makam Torah, our own our own places of Torah, a source of that light. Um, the world is in darkness, as it so often is. Let's. Um, Let's use our limited, cramped, little, confined spaces to, uh, to be lights uh, to our community, to ourselves, and to the world. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.